All right, here we go. We're at the start of our range test on the B Explorer from B Cool Bikes. And uh, I just rode up to this parking lot real quick. I'm at 0.4 miles. We are fully juiced on this battery. Gigantic battery pack on this bike. 21 amp hour battery comes standard on the B Explorer. So big battery pack. It's gonna take a minute to kill this thing. So I will check in as we go. All right, well, while we're at the very beginning, let me explain the range test. So I'm, I'm 1.1 miles into it right now. And this is gonna be a long one because this is a big battery, but let me explain how I do this. So it is throttle only, no pedaling. We're gonna do everything throttle only, uh, you know, up and down hills, flats, doesn't matter what it is, only using the throttle because I think that's gonna give you the minimum, the bare minimum, the worst range. That's the number I wanna know. What's the bare minimum range that you could get out of this thing? So no pedaling, number one. Uh, number two, I weigh 175 pounds. That gives you an idea of the weight your, this bike's carrying. Uh, I put the tire pressures at 22 PSI, 22. So pretty stiff for a fat tire bike. The tire recommends five, five to 15. So I'm at 22. It's about 80 degrees outside and sunny today. Uh, we're gonna be riding paved terrain. I'm not really gonna take this much off road, maybe a small trail here and there, but for the most part, it's gonna be paved surfaces in town. And I'm gonna do a mixture of inclines, hills, flats, so we get a, a good variety. That's uh, about all the information I think you need. Um, the battery is a 21 amp hour battery, so it's gonna take a while. If I had to take a guess here at the beginning, the website says it could go 40 miles on throttle alone. I think it's gonna get close to that, honestly. I think it could possibly do like mid 30s pretty easily, so. That's gonna be my guess. I think it's gonna end up somewhere like maybe 36, 37 miles throttle only. I don't know, I guess we'll see. So I will, I'm gonna put a hurting on this thing before I check back in. It's probably gonna take a good, you know, at least 12, 13 miles probably to lose the first battery bar. So I will check in periodically as we go, see where we end up. All right, we are 18.7 miles in. I'm just cruising through the ghetto here, you know. Look at these houses, holy cow. But I don't know, the battery indicator is being kind of funny right now. Um, it'll be full bars when I'm off the throttle, but if I crank the throttle, it goes down one, sometimes even two bars. So it's down one. But every time I release the throttle, there went down a second bar. But whenever I release the throttle, it comes back up to full charge, so. I don't know how much battery I'm eating through here. Is it down one bar? Is it down two bars? Is it down no bars? See, I'm down two right there. So, I don't know, I gotta believe it's at least down one full bar. Maybe some setting is off and it's not giving me an accurate reading on the battery indicator thing, I don't know. So, this is, uh, yeah, <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna keep track. Other than, I guess, like my mileage guess. All right, we are about 29 miles in, so 30.5 on the odometer here. I've been also keeping track of my phone GPS, which says 28.1. So let's just go in the middle and say we're around 29 miles. I finally got it to go down two bars and stay down two bars. If I hit the throttle, it'll go down to three, you know, three gone. But then as soon as you release it, pops back up. So if I'm going by when the bars go off and stay off, then we're getting, you know, 13 something, 13 miles per bar. I can't believe that it. it's gonna continue like that. I gotta believe that this bike is gonna just start dropping like crazy soon. Cause I mean, there's five segments. So if you get 13 every segment, that's like 65 miles, right? That's, I, you're not, I, I don't see this bike going 65 miles on just the throttle alone. There's no way. So this, either this battery thing's not reading accurate. I wish I had a voltage meter on here that might help too i think but i don't have that so i don't know we're gonna i'm just gonna ride it until it's dead until it's unusable power so right now it's still usable we can still crank it up and go it's lost a step i mean it was going like 27 miles an hour down this road now it'll go like 25 24 25 that's 
so it's lost one little step, but still very, very usable power at this point. All right, we stop for a quick break here. Uh, I'm at 37.4 on the odometer here and 34.5 on my GPS odometer. So well into the 30s here, 34, 37, and it's still showing three bars. When I do the throttle, it'll go down to two, sometimes to one, but it always pops right back up to resting at three. So I don't know, apparently this battery's gonna last forever because I've been out for two hours now riding. Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't think this is reading right. So I'm just gonna keep going until, you know, all usable power is done. It's definitely losing speed. I can feel like when you do a hill climb, it is not the same hill climb as it was, you know, back at mile one. I mean, which is to be expected, we're almost at 40 miles right now. So this is ridiculous. Uh, I didn't think it would last this long. It's already passed what I thought it would get. And uh, yeah, I don't know. Well, I'll let you know when we finish. All right, we were just resting at one bar. Now it jumped back up to two again. And when I crank the throttle, it goes down to none. I'm at 42 miles here, 39 here. It's gotta be getting close. I just wanted to show you a quick, this is a small incline hill here. It's a, a decent hill. I mean, it'd be hard to pedal up with no power. So I'm gonna show you how this, uh, how it does up the hill here. Right, so it already went down. I have no bars showing right now. So it's blank. Battery bar is blank. And it's still cruising. It's going to get slow down here in a minute, though, because it gets a little steeper right here. So here we go. 14, 16, 12, 14. Still going up the hill at 10 to 12 miles an hour, though. The hill's really put hurting on it. On the level ground, it still has really good power, actually. I'm a little shocked with how low this battery is. And then I'm at, I'm at 40 miles. I've, I've driven this thing 40 miles without pedaling it. And it's still got this much juice in it. I mean, now we're getting on the level ground. It's up over 20 miles an hour. Look at this. Still going uphill a little bit. All right, now when the level's out, cruises up to 20. This has got some long battery life, man. All right, we're finally done. We did it, we did it. We depleted this bike completely. Normally they have like kind of a gradual die off. Not so much on this one. It was just boom, it cut out and shut off and no power whatsoever. Just I'm going down the road 15 miles an hour and just turned off on me and you can't turn it back on, it's, it's out of juice. So uh, the trip meter on the bike was at like mm, almost 44 miles, I think. I won't know now, because every time the bike shuts off, it resets, so it'll say zero. But I can tell you on my phone GPS, it reads, let me show you actually. Don't know if you can see that, but right here, distance 40.84 miles. So that is quite the range, 40 miles. And they say on the website, you know, 40 to 70 miles. 40 if you don't use any pedaling at all, you just use the throttle, and 70 if you pedal. True story, that's true, I just did it. I mean, I got almost 41 miles out of the bike without pedaling at all. So I rode for just under three hours. <laughs> it took me to do that, so. Uh, the range claims on the website are accurate on this bike for sure. Uh, 40 miles, that's true. So if you got range anxiety, I mean, take a look at the Be Cool bike because I don't know of any of their fat tire bikes with a battery this big that comes standard on them. So yeah, but yeah, the, the range is accurate. 40 miles out of this thing, man. Holy cow. All right, well, there's another look at it. It's a pretty sharp looking bike. I'm digging the orange. It's not really a bright fluorescent loud orange it's it's more subtle it's kind of like a pearl orange almost it's got that like silvery tint in the light looks pretty nice i got i did ride with this rear pack the whole time so a couple extra pounds and then i had the camera mounted on this little thing right there so you can get a nice steady shot as i ride but that is the b explorers range so good news the range claims are accurate bad news is i did not finish at home so now i gotta pedal this heavy bike home so luckily i'm only a couple miles away i shouldn't take that long I'll be able to make it just fine, but they are very hard to pedal if they don't have motor power. So remember that. If you think you're getting near the end of your range, start heading towards home. All right, everyone, I think that's all for today. So if you like what you saw, consider hitting subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Helps me on YouTube. Appreciate you guys clicking on this video and checking it out. And uh, thanks so much for watching.